we're at the Formula D qualifying. What's going to happen is here we have a bunch of amateur drifters who are who want to become D1. Um, and what will happen is these guys are going to compete, which you're going to see and meet. And from that, we will have two people who actually get their D1 license and actually get to compete on a national level. I, I don't quite really get it though, Chris. I mean, you were excited from the second that we parked the car and you could smell burning rubber. For me, on the other hand, I'm still a little confused. So I guess that's what we're here to find out today. We are here to find out what exactly drifting is, why on earth people do it, and uh, I guess what the draw is. <laughs> So, Kent, tell me, what is drifting to you? Just just give it to me. It's speed and excitement. It's ballet. You know, it's both dangerous and beautiful at the same time. You know, that's one of the things I notice about a drift. You know what I'm saying? It's when kids are drifting, it's like, it's like a ballet when they're in tandem. Mm -hmm. And yet, the minute somebody slides out or bumps into somebody else, suddenly, you know, all it's hell chaos. breaks loose. You know what I mean? So, uh, it's it's you know, both beautiful and dangerous at the same time. It really is all about the adrenaline. And I mean, I'm a car guy, but uh, it's about, you're, you're always bordering on the edge of control at all times. Like, you're, it's a fine balance between controlling, doing a great drift, and you crashing into a wall. And uh, it really is a thrill to, to be right on that edge and have, to have be in control at the same time. Hey guys, it's Chelsea. I'm standing here with Brian. And Brian, actually, uh, you're out there drifting today. <laughs> Drifting is essentially the art of controlling uh, an oversteer condition, where your rear end is, your rear end kicks out, and you want to control your slide through corners. And ideally, you want to be able to link the corners together while maintaining the, sl the sideways motion all the way through the course. Um, what happened here today? I was going around the third corner where there's a wall. Uh, I took it with a little bit too much speed and uh, too much oversteer. The rear end kicked around. I slammed into the wall backwards, and then the front end came around and smashed the wall too. So it's just a minor setback, but it's, it's all good. Unlike all other motorsports, drifting isn't about racing against the clock or racing against others. It's just more of a showmanship type deal where um, it's all about how, how well, you, one, your speed into a corner, your angle of how much you are sideways going to the corner, and then uh, you know the execution of that. And the more tire smoke, the better. It's basically the better the show you put on for the audience. been in Japan for 10-15 years now and it's just it's just starting to come here or become popular here now uh, so I first discovered it when I was a freshman in college and slowly started formulating the plan in my brain to move to California buy a car start drifting and uh, most of my friends pretty much just laughed at me but here I am at Irwindale California and I did my first drift day today so I'm pretty stoked it was it was a great experience I had a blast thank you so much for sharing I mean I seriously I this is so new to me but I think it's really cool I totally admire what you're doing never in a million years would I be able to do this without crying or peeing my pants or something else disgusting we have Nick Hogan in the vehicle today Hulk Hogan's son he's a huge drift fan he's been drifting for the past couple years and uh, he showed some interest to come drive the Viper. So basically for the past couple months, we said, hey, look, we're not going to put you in this car and, and let you compete on the circuit unless you can really drive. So we've had him out here for a few testing sessions. He's shown a lot of skill. Today he was out of the practice session and fortunately put the car into the wall up in the middle of the oval. So we had to take the car back to the shop, change out some equipment. We just got back to the track now. So now we're going to see how he does. She watches TV, so she's scared of this guy. He's a really cool looking guy, though. No, I, I uh, actually wasn't allowed to watch wrestling when I grew up. He doesn't know. Who, I'm a girl. You don't know who Hulk Hogan is. No, my parents are scared to make me too violent. Cut two. I still got in trouble for school. You know what? I'm I'm in shock, but as the day progresses, I, I'm actually really kind of into it. It's surprising because I wouldn't think that I would be into something like this, but I I'm I'm into it. Yeah, I, I mean, like it. I'm a fan. I'm not gonna do it. Aaron keeps trying to talk me into getting one in the cars. Not gonna happen, you guys. But it's pretty cool. You gotta be. You got really gotta be here to kind of experience the whole thing, and it, it catches on. 